Alright guys, this video is going to be short, well probably not short, but it's going to be a simple video. I got a comment asking me how do I evo, well how did I evo Kenny Smith? So, I was just thinking, I might as well just make a how I evolve cards in general. Since I use evolution cards to make MT since I'm not, since, since I'm not a money spender, I'm a budget guy, I'm a no money spend guy. All the videos you see me make is from me getting MT from not spending any, spending money. Um, but yeah, this year it's kind of easy to make MT, you just got to put the time in. And for me, it's that I'm willing to put the time in because I really want to grow the channel and, you know, do, do what we do in these streets. But, basically, evolution cards, okay, right? Evolution cards, like, all right, let me put him on the screen real quick. He wanted specifically Kenny Smith. So I'll go to Kenny Smith, point guard, point guard, point guard, point guard. So the requirements are kind of the same for these two. Uh, for Jim Paxson and Kenny Smith, you want assists and then you want threes. I don't know why they gave Jim Paxson 800, 100 more points than Kenny Smith, but that's that's just one last game. But basically, you want to get assists, threes, and um, and uh, in points. So there's no games played for this one, but I know Daryl Armstrong has games played, and that's why I have him in the lineup because I need some games played for him. And I know Clyde Drexler needs assists and rebounds. So this is what I'm gonna tell you right now. Is that when you're evolving a couple of cards that you want to do? Unless I usually focus on one, but this for this video, just kind of the time I'm in. We got a couple of cards. You might as well knock out two birds with one stone. If you have a card that needs points, like Jim Paxson, who needs points, grab a card that needs assists. Okay, you can always kill two birds with one stone with this. And if you have a card like Jerome Kersey who needs rebounds, throw him at the four. I have the Kimbe here just because he blocks shots, and if he blocks the shots, Jerome will get a rebound. But yeah, the rebounds you can't really control because it's just kind of game luck. Well, game luck. But I'm basically about to go into domination and show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So basically, you want to go into domination. You want to go into the to the normal domination, right? And you want to find a team like the Cavs, the Knicks, the uh, what do they got? The Suns. Not the Thunder. They have uh, freaking what's his name? They got that Andre Robinson guy who freaking clamps people up. But yeah. I usually go with the Cavs or the Knicks, just depending on how I feel that day. But, and I go to Rookie. I go to Rookie. And basically because you want to go to Rookie because everything is automatic green. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in a few moments. Alright, so we're here. You guys see my lineup. You see the opponents. Nothing but, the highest thing is Kevin Love. And it, it, Kevin Love's kind of cheats. But our matchup, simply for right now, is we're focusing on, right now I'm focusing on, um, the two Ruby cards. I want to get Clyde up. He needs his assist. Want to get Clyde. He needs his assist. So what I do right on defense. Well, what you could do right is just kind of flop. That's some people just to get him to shoot automatically. He's kind of green out. That kind of sucked. But you want to get him to flop. I want to get it here. Okay. I want to get it here. And you don't want to go into any freelance. You just kind of want to just throw it to the guy in the corner and shoot. But right now I don't want to shoot it because I want to shoot with Jim Paxson. So what I want to do is I want to call a screen. Get Jim Paxson in the corner. He needs threes, and then I'm gonna shoot the three. Doesn't matter if he's there or not. It's rookie, not seven times out of ten, just because Jim Pax has a 63 is not gonna fall. But if you're using someone like Kenny Smith or someone like Clyde that has a 70 plus three ball, you're, you're most likely gonna be able to get a green every time. It's just because their green window's bigger. Um, but come on, why am I playing D as if I'm not supposed to be showing y'all guys exactly what I do every time I play this mode while I'm watching Twitter videos or something like that? Since I don't really play it with at my full attention span. But yeah. So I want to get it to Clyde because specifically I'm trying to get Clyde uh, his assist. And then I kind of just force it in the corner. Throw it to him. I messed that release up completely, but it still dropped. As you guys see what I'm saying. But yeah, if I'm focusing on getting jump shots with a guy, or three-pointers or points in general, you still want to shoot threes. But I usually don't bring them down the court. Like I just kind of keep them up top. Let them shoot. They're going to miss more times than not. Give it here. Quickly throw it to the guy I'm getting assist with. Run it down the court. Because you get out, Jim Paxson, why are you literally in the paint? Like, why were you in the paint? And then just kind of pull. They started doubling me for some stupid reason, but that, that happens from time to time. Once again, give the ball down to Drexler. Get my mans in the corner. And there we go. That should be it. That's literally all it is for guards. Um, that's literally all it is. If you need steals, I'll see if I can do it right now. But you want to kind of just, like, double him. And then kind of just press the square button on the side. I usually do it on um on triple threat not here for guards but for big men it's kind of easy they kind of just get steals no matter what it's because the cpu decides to do something stupid over there in the corner 
One dribble means it's still an assist, and then just pull up. Get that, Dikembe. What the hell? Why'd you throw it off the bottom of your foot? Man, that's really all it is to it. That's kind of how I'm getting my Evos done. Stop. Was not supposed to pull him in range. That's kind of stupid. I need three-pointers for him specifically. But yeah, you kind of just, when you're even on the card, unless it, you do everything in domination, unless it's games played. If it's games played, you do it on triple threat offline. If it's, if it's anything else, you do it in domination just because it just makes it a whole lot easier. The green windows are bigger. No, come here, Clyde. Come get this assist, my guy. I want you to get to the corner. Go to the corner. Thank you. Got it open. Hit the three. Thank you. But, all right, man, I'm going to fast forward to the end of the game just because I don't really need to do anything else. Like, that's really all it is. Um, that's how I'm Evo on cards. That's how I'm making my MT. That's how a lot of people Evo on cards. But, yeah, that's just the easiest way to do it. But, yeah, it's the end of the game. I only got 82 points with uh, Jim Paxson. And it's because I'm not the best with his release. But I am a lot better with Clyde's. And I am a lot better with uh, Steve Smith. Well, Kenny Smith, sorry. Kenny Smith. I'm a lot better with their releases, and their rating means that like if I mess up a little bit, it's still most likely going to drop. So when I did it with Kenny Smith, I got around like 130 a game, and I got around 130 with Clyde too. But this one, because Jim Paxson's three is just a 60, and I'm not the best with it, so I'm not getting greens every time. Basically, it falls whenever it wants to fall, but it falls majority of the time. But I did miss a lot. I'll show you how many shots I missed with him while also showing you how many, uh, like right there. Like, I'm just missing wide open just because he has a 63 ball. And, and I don't really know why they make you shoot threes with guys that don't really get a three-point rating. But, I mean, it is what it is. But, yeah, it is what it is. Got 85 points that game with him. I need, like, I need, like, 100-something more. I got to figure out his release before anything. Got to figure out the man's release. But, yeah, it's time to go ahead and look at the box score. As long as this gets off the screen... This is, I mean, it's not hard to Evo cards. It's just time consuming. And for real. All, and if you want to make MT, you just got to put the time in. That's really it. That's really it. See, Jim Paxson got 23 three-pointers that time. So, he needs 150. I mean, four more games. Four more games that I had a three-pointer done. And then I don't got to shoot threes anymore. I can just shoot moving twos, which he makes a lot more than normal. But, yeah. Clyde Drexler got 29 of his assists done in that one game. And he got four rebounds. And Jerome Kersey got seven rebounds in that one game. But there is a faster way to get rebounds. Well, centers will automatically get rebounds no matter what. But it's a fast way to get rebounds if you want to get it for one specific player. And I'm going to show you that right now. But yeah, if you want to grab rebounds for a specific player, you want to go to triple threat offline. And just kind of go small. So the best thing to do right is to get two golds. I don't want um, I don't want him to get rebounds right The center to get rebounds right now. I need a player that's going to get rebounds. And it's a ruby, small forward, and... Where is he? Shooting guard, I'm sorry. Clyde needs rebounds. So we're gonna make him the biggest guy. And then we're gonna get Jim Paxson out of here just because this isn't this isn't for him. He doesn't need rebounds or anything. This isn't for him. So we're gonna um so yeah, where we got? Uh, I'll get another gold. You want two golds in here, two gold cards. Where we at? I want a gold card that plays defense at the small forward or shooting guard, because not nah, the shooting guard. Matter of fact, nah, we'll get Reggie Jackson. So we got two Two gold cards and the guy need rebounding. Because Clyde Drexler is the biggest guy on the court, he's automatically going to go ahead and be down bottom, which means he's going to be in a place to grab the rebounds no matter what. So that's basically how you want to focus on rebounding so players just do triple threat offline. You see, the team we're playing against is a freaking Drew Holiday going driving and Jamal Murray. Clyde Drexler is going to grab every rebound as long as they miss shots. Like That's basically just how it's going to go down. Um... But yeah, he still does need assists. So what I can do, what I can do is come here and get this screen. Take one dribble and then pull it. He missed. And that's a rebound that Clyde did not get. Like, what the hell? Backdoor cut. Thank you. Get him assist real quick. That's fine. That's an assist. We can knock two birds with one stone here in the uh, offline mode. I wanna, before, I want to grab at least one rebound before I cut off to the end of the match. Because I know y'all don't want to watch the whole thing. You just want to know how I'm Evo in college in general. If he missed this, that's a rebound for Clyde. Never mind. It's not a rebound for Clyde. That's a rebound for Fat Lever. Give me this handoff. Get him an assist, sir. Cool. Now, this time it should be a rebound for Clyde. Let's get, let's get Gordon Drazik at the top. Let's let him go by me. Let's flop. 
Okay, never mind. Definitely don't want to give me Clyde rebounds for some odd reason. We still can get him assists. Where are we at? Get him to cut back door. Just shoot it. I don't really care if I win or lose or not. I'm just trying to get the rebounds. Where are we at? That's a bad shot to take. God dang, who am I playing against? Julius Irving or something? Why are these cars not missing? Hold on. That's come all the way around. Backdoor cut. Thank you. That's an assist. We're getting the assist. We're just not getting the rebounds. Because the other team seems to not be missing. I think I'm just going to let Goran Dragic shoot in order to get these rebounds. Matter of fact, I'm going to let Drew Holiday shoot a jump. No, Drew. Who told you to attack the back? What? They're supposed to be shooting the ball, not attacking the basket. I've never seen these guys shoot the ball, well, attack the basket this often. It's like it's, it's like they know I'm making a video for some odd reason. It's like they know specifically that I'm making a video at that moment, so they're going to attack the basket. Like, what? But yeah, I'm just going to control Clyde here. As soon as I grab this one rebound, we're going to be done. Here we go. What the fuck? Dude. They've made literally every single shot this entire time. Every shot. And this is this is a first for me because I've never seen them make this many shots before. Never in my life have I seen them make this many shots before. Like, they haven't missed one. They legit haven't missed a shot. Like, I don't know why they haven't missed a shot. They just haven't. They legit just haven't. If you can shoot the bad boy, cool. There we go. That's a rebound. Like, it's, like he should be getting them every time just because he's the big man on the court. But they just haven't missed a shot for some stupid reason. But yeah, he grabbed his first rebound. So then, yeah, we're going to cut right off to the end of the match. Okay, see you in a moment. But yeah, here we are at the end. Clyde has four rebounds just like he had last time. But instead of 30 minutes of having four rebounds, he got four rebounds in like five minutes. So, I mean, it's a faster way to get him those four rebounds. So, I mean, instead of, yeah, you know, just cutting down, cutting down the time that you get to get the rebounds, it's a faster way to get them. But we are looking like we're about to lose. So... Get that in. Please make your layup. But yeah, Clyde has four rebounds and ten assists. So, I mean, if you already got the points for Clyde, this is an easy way to knock those bad boys out in general if you're looking for rebounds. And, and, and yeah, just, just think of ways to go and not two birds out with one stone. That's just kind of how it is uh, when it comes to getting these done fast. You just kind of got to think how you can get both done in the same amount of time. He just hit that, didn't he? No, he did not. And that's five rebounds. So, in like five minutes, he got the rebounds. He got more rebounds than he got in 30 minutes. Hold on, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Call this ISO. Run around him. Let me just get this dunk so that I can get this over with. So yeah, in five minutes he got more rebounds than he got in 30. That's that's basically how you get the rebounds for people. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you do have any other questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as best I can. If I do make a if I do need to make a video on something, I will for sure comment to your comments like, hey, I'll make a video on one just because I feel like other people are gonna need to know. It. But yeah, shout out to the sub to comment to this. He basically made this video possible. If you're new to the channel, press the sub button. Press the like button. It's We just need like 20 more people to get to 3K. I know, I know 20 of you guys, because I know, look, 20 of you guys press the sub button. There's like 50% of my viewers aren't even subbed. So come on now, hit that sub button. 